Crab legs are usually the priciest item at those all-you-can-eat buffets, and people who love them don't mess around. Our Lisa Garo takes a look at the chaos that sometimes erupts when crab legs get put on the counter. Here you go. Get ready, get ready. It's a feeding frenzy at the buffet. Get it, get it, get it, get it. When the crab legs come out, it's everyone for themselves. And they're gone in seconds. Oh, this, is. The crab legs? Come on. this customer barges into the kitchen to demand more crab legs. Sometimes it can get violent, like here at a buffet in New York City. And in Alabama, this woman was charged with assaulting an elderly man when police say a fight broke out over crab legs. The man suffered a cut to his head. The mayhem caused by these crab legs is alarming. So now some restaurants are carefully dishing them out in order to cut down on the chaos. It's really sad to fight, you know, to fight over something like that. Rocky Abdullah owns Le Grand Buffet in New Jersey. He says the star of his buffet is undoubtedly these guys, and the customers can't get enough of them. What have you done here at your restaurant to control people getting violent over crab legs? I just decided to move him behind the counter and give two to everybody, so you make everybody happy. But just for us, Rocky showed how fast the crabs go when they're put on the buffet. In 42 seconds, the legs are gone, and that's after only three customers. Because then one person takes everything. Right. And everybody start fighting about it. But most buffets offer self-serve crab legs. At this one in Queens, New York, as soon as the crabs are brought out, this guy is all over it. He scoops up the crab legs, then his buddy joins in to take more. Gonna leave any for anybody else? <laughs> all right, so two guys took almost all the crab legs. And at this buffet a few miles away, watch these two guys go. A tray of crab legs is gone in seconds. Go crazy for crab legs. It's like a crab leg war out here. 